everybody. I am back to do a quick little craft with me. I am doing a, a swap. Um, it's three small items and I've already made two of them. I made a flat pen and I have a tutorial on how I make flat pens and I will link that below. Uh, this one's a little bit different than the ones I normally make. In the past, I've either put a hole or a paper clip at the top. And this time I used one of these little slot punches. <coughs> Excuse me. And I it fit a ribbon through there very nicely. And then I used, oh, just realized I used a Tim Holtz tiny attacher. And then I glued the butterflies to the backside. But so be it. I can maybe find something to stick right there. Maybe I'll punch another butterfly and stick it there before I send it off. So that's going to be the um, one item. It is a flat pen and that's Tim Holtz 6x6 paper. And then I made a Tracy Fox style um, encased paper clip, altered paper clip. I, I just encased both, uh, both sides. I will also link Tracy's video where she talks about how she did it. I'm not sure if I did the same thing because I didn't rewatch the video. I just kind of like figured it out from memory. Um, so, and then I put uh, an eyelet through the top and some ribbon and uh, some little punched butterflies. This, these butterflies come from this punch. It's a Recollections uh, butterfly punch. And I have had this for years like this was probably one of the very first things that I bought when I started paper crafting so I have no idea I have no idea if it if it's still made or but anyway this is what I used and it's ancient I'm sorry if I just wiggled you I apologize okay so that is those are two of my three items now for my third item I want to make some slides I really enjoy slides I recently bought some I have some already made die cuts that I've purchased I have a die that I can make I have these are Tracy Fox ones that she had in her shop for a while um, I'm not sure if she still has them but she is love junk journals on Etsy um, but I want to make some kind of homemade ones that have like a larger bit to them and I also want to do some background stamping on this craft card before I run it through my machine or cut it or figure out how I'm going to do it. And this is largely inspired by Margaret um, from Seven Plaza. Oh my gosh, I have so many things to link. I have to link my, oh my gosh, I'm going to totally forget. I need to link the flat pen, the paper clip, and the, the Margaret <laughs> video. I really, really try to remember. I'll try. I'm very bad at that. So in any case, so what this is here is I was trying to figure out, I wanted to make a, a layer of stamps on this that were kind of background. So we're a muted, not a, not a color that would bounce out because I want that to be very much background. And so this, these, both of these are this Ranger archival ink coffee. And then as is this one. And this one is this Ranger Sepia. And I think I'm going to go with the Sepia. Because I, I can't seem to get a as consistent a stamping with the coffee. And sometimes, like this was the first one I did and it came out super bold. And then there's a, a second stamp there that's very light that I like. And the Sepia ones just seems to be more um, consistent. And I think it's just because it's older and not quite as juicy as the coffee but anyway that's what I'm going to go with. So I've pulled out some stamps. I have um, Field Notes CM396. I have Correspondence CM225 and I have Entomology CM328. Um, so I'm going to start I think with um, I'm so predictable. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's start, field, let's start with field notes. Because we love field notes, don't we? We love field notes. Can't help it. We just do. All right. So, um, I'm going to let's see. I'm gonna pop this out. Yes, I'm going to pop this out. 
And I definitely want a field label. Let me grab a, an acrylic block. I want the field label. Oh, you know what I could do is I could lay these out and then do the whole, um, nah, nah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to Start and I do have um, a piece of foam underneath my craft card and then just a piece of paper to catch, you know, to stamp off and catch stray marks. Okay, so I've got myself a field label and, oops, and then I was just trying to put it back. Why won't it fit? Oh dear. Okay, and I want my specimen. Let's see, let's do something in between because I'm gonna want specimen over here. I'm just gonna work in the corner out. I think that will help keep me um, kind of um, on track. Let's do a condemned. You know, I don't think I've ever used this. Look, oh my gosh, I keep, keep banging the cord. I'm so sorry, this cord, okay. Um, I've never used that condemned. Look at that. Condemned. Condemned. So it'll be like this. Ooh, nice. And let's do a specimen like that. Move it over a little bit. Aw, that's okay. It's background, right? It's background. So what I said I was doing, I said I'm doing background. Okay, so I need something in this spot here. These are not staying. Um, do I want a circle? Yes, 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 I do. I want a circle. So as I said, this was um, kind of, this is a riff on something I saw Margaret um, from Seven Plaza. I have just recently discovered her channel, which I love, love, love. Um, She's only had her channel for like a year, and yet she's got like 15,000 subscribers, and she posts every day. It's just, it's so cool, and she's very enjoyable to watch, and I'm sure that's why. I mean, she's very regular, but she's just lovely. And I was looking for, to see if she had a craft room tour on her channel, and I discovered she has like a... Just a little bit of a craft room port tour, but it's more of a kind of chat with me, get to know me video. And she really is, oops, that's a little, it's a little bammer than I wanted, but that's okay, we'll deal. Yeah, um, just delightful. It isn't it interesting how like you go through phases, like you'll watch someone for a while and then and then you'll and it's like okay what what else is out there who else can i i think i'll put that right there and then i'm gonna want something right there shipment collect could go there i should probably also throw some of these other things in not make it just um not make it I love this airplaney one I'm just gonna do this I'll do this and then I'll switch because I have that laid out I mean I still you have our favorites and we have the the I try I describe it's so hard to describe this whole world to my friends oops who are not involved in any way in it 
You know, I say, well, you know, like they're the big names, you know, the big channels. <laughs> and then there are us with the little channels. But I, I know I've said this before, and all, everyone else has said it too. We really just do have such a lovely community. So I'm going to, I want, I want to grab that airplane. You can see that, that's the one I like the best on this. And I think I'm gonna try using some of these barcode ones too. Okay, so shall I do bar, airplane? I'll do airplane there. Okay. that off. I think I need another circle. Oh, and I have the finger, the pointy finger. Let me get the pointy finger out and the, let me do this circle here. Look, I have to use these. I've had these forever and I've hardly used them. Crazy, 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 crazy. So I'm going to put that right there. this and I want my pointy finger the pointy finger is associated with a labely thing Let's see. Let's let's lay out some other things to see what we want. Um, look, well, there's a cute little airplane that's all by itself, just as an airplane. All right, I'm taking this out of the envelope. The envelope storage is working very well for me, I have to say. Um, but I do need to find some other Ooh, special delivery. A special delivery. Should I have? I should probably have something going like that. And then look, this there's some teeny things that can go right here. There's a oh look, here's a number five. Should I do a number five and a Oh, look at this cute, tiny little one right here. Oh, this is good. This is a good discovery. I had forgotten about the stamp set and forgotten it had teeny tinies. Okay. And then I'm going to do something long down there. So let me... Oh, those are just hard to, hard to control. They're so teeny tiny. Okay, I'm going to do the airplane. Oh, so I hope you are all having a good Sunday. Today is Sunday. It's like the 22nd, I think. I don't actually know the date. Somewhere around there. It is Sunday. And it is the last day of our April vacation. Um, and it has been a very kind of relaxing April vacation for us. I haven't done too too much i did a lot of the things that i had to get done that i had been holding off um doing because i just can't do them they're kind of things that have to be done during the business day and i just can't because i teach high school so getting anything done during business hours is virtually impossible so any kind of banking or things like that you either you have to either wait for a vacation day or take a personal day because it just can't get oops well that's all right can't get done during the business hours i don't have access i really don't have access to a phone to make a private conversation have a con private conversation anywhere um 
without inconveniencing someone who has an office and asking them, could I please, could they please vacate their office so that I can use their phone to make a personal phone call? And it's possible, but it's such an awkward thing to have to do. Um, because I don't have, when I'm not teaching, I kind of have a room, kind of. It's not really my room, but it's more my room than it is other folks, I guess you could say. It's, it's a very wonky arrangement because we have, um, one, we have what, six science lab rooms, teach high school science, and there are far more than six science teachers and way more than six science classes going on at any one point. So um, we share rooms, we share lab space, and then we also have like a um, science office. That's just a big room with kind of desks around the perimeter and conference tables in the middle. Kind of, kind of, and we kind of, it's kind of like you have two, have to have two desks. It's very, it's very uh, inconvenient. And um, so in any case, I don't have a good space to do, have personal phone calls or business kinds of phone calls or things like that. Um, so I got that stuff done. <laughs> Long story short, which felt like a huge relief. And I got a bunch done on my elephant journal. If you haven't seen my elephant journal, I have a playlist for my elephant journal that I'm working on. It is a collaboration with Took from Took's Craft Table. She made a fabulous um, kit, an elephant kit. And my plan is when it's done, I'm going to auction it off on eBay. And um, then I'm going to donate the proceeds to an, uh, an elephant refuge. Right now, I'm thinking I'm going to do Sheldrick. I think it's called Sheldrick. Um, it's like a, an elephant rescue and rehab place in Africa. And they, they're they the ones that you see if you see... Um, videos of the little babies um, wrapped in blankets. They rescue, they have, uh, oh, that was wonky. Oh, well. Um, anyway, there, there, there's a, a bunch of really worthy um, rescue organizations and refuges. Um, but that's one that I'm, I'm fairly certain of that I kind of follow. Because I kind of want to make sure that whoever I, you know, donate the money to is is a well-established, legit, um, not a touristy kind of. I want to make sure that it's an actual rescue. And this place rehabilitates orphans, and then releases them back into the into. I think it's. I don't think. It releases them into the wild. I think it re releases them into the refuge. So they continue to be protected. And they have stories where, you know, the 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 females who have been rescued themselves will bring their babies back to meet their caretakers, um, to meet the people who saved them. It's just, it's pretty cool. So that's my plan. So I would love it if you would check out that playlist. Um, do I, have I done the birdie? I haven't done the birdie. I'm going to do this birdie. I'm going to do this birdie here. Maybe I should do this birdie here. Because I have that plant there. I'm going to do a little bit of layout again because of a butterfly. I can do the butterfly. If I do the birdie here, I can... Mm, I don't know where I want to do that one. Let's do a number. We'll do a number there, and um, I think I'll do a butterfly up in that corner, and I need something vertical um, or small. Figure one, figure two, 
and something even tinier. What is the tiniest thing that I have? This one had a whole bunch of tiny tinies. Ooh, T squared. What do you think T squared is? I would imagine T is for trademark, but T squared? Can't get it off. Okay, here we go. It's coming. Ah, T squared. Funny, huh? What do you think? I think I can grab them all together. Ha. All right, let's try it that way. Uh, I was going to do the bouncy thing, but I don't think the bouncy thing is going to work. Can you see what I'm doing over here on the side? Yeah, you kind of can. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm all, all alone at the moment. My husband has gone to meeting. And my son is away at college. And my daughter is also in college, but she lives at home and commutes. However, to this weekend, she got invited to present her undergraduate research at a proper conference up at the University of Vermont. And it's very excited for her. Sounds like she's having a really good time schmoozing with real scientists and ecologists and being with her, her lab partners. And it's just, I'm very excited for her. And she, um, she sent me a picture of her booster. It was, they had like all of their information was professionally printed on one of these great big presentation posters and I'm so excited. I'm so happy for her. Okay, so over here, um, what have I not used? <laughs> what have I not used on here? Looks like I have never used my this side up. So let's do Let's do this side up. Oh, I think I need another circle. Received. This is the same stamp. Isn't that interesting? It's just smaller. Um, let's do some figures. Figure one, figure two, figure three. Let's do, have I done the specimen? I did do the specimen. I did, did it down low. Did I do my collect? Oh, I haven't done collect. Is that right? Have I not done collect? Didn't do collect. And should I do this number? And I'm good trying to get corresponding order out. How about what's this one? Name of remitter. Name of remitter. And ooh, here's another tiny one I have never used before. Oh, I just used it. That's okay. I'm going to repeat it. ABR 151940. Okay. I'm going to pick these all up at the same time. What do you think? Think you can do it? And then put it down. Pick it up and put it down. You know what I want? I want this here. I want this boring and wonky way. Like that. That's what I want. Ha! All right. I like that trick. I think I saw Margaret do that. I do have one of those um, stamp stamp tools. Let's use that. 
to, I suppose. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so there are some spaces in here, but I have an idea for what to do about that. I have some like um, splattery kinds of filler stamps. I'm just putting these back onto their onto their into their correct positions on my stamp sets so I don't lose them because we all know how dear these stamps are. Oh, do you guys watch um, the new Tim Holtz release uh, with the, the paints, the distress paints? Did you know that they are $15 for five? Which means each one of those little bottles is $3. I got, I was, I watched it and I was like, oh, yes. Oh, love those. Because, you know, they're cool. I don't deny that they are extremely cool. But, oh, my goodness. Talk about deer. I was like, I, I can't really justify spending that much money on a little teeny tiny bit of paint. And I realize you don't use a ton at a time. But still, that is, I mean, a giant bottle of, of this. Like, you know acrylic paint I don't even think that's three dollars I have a ton of that so I was disappointed to say the least just could not bring myself to do it okay so I have these splatters and I have some some larger splatters and I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna do this and kind of Am I gonna? Yes. Huh. Oh, I like that. That looks good. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the seconds. I'm gonna stamp it off here first, and then do the lighter. The lighter image around I really like how that works. Do I want to try some larger splattery bits? Several kind of larger splatter bits. All right, let's try this corner one. Like there, oh, yeah. As long as it's the second image, it works. <laughs> That's fun. That is fun. I like how it's kind of the ghost image. I think over here. Maybe over here. Or else here. Very, very light. Just very barely noticeable, I think, right in here. And then maybe over here. That was a little darker. That's okay. That's okay, because you know what? Some of this is going to get cut away, and we're not even going to see it. All right, I have, I have some, like, rings. Do I want a ring? That's, like, a nice, simple ring. Let's try a ring. And again, I'm going to stamp it off first. And... <laughs> That's so fun. And 
I think. Move that out of the way because I want it off the coming off the page right here. And then maybe at the bottom also. And then maybe Ooh, I like how that just worked. I didn't mean to do it like that. All right, I need to stop. It's too fun. I get carried away. I need to stop. All right, now what? Now what you ask? Well, now I want to make it into a a slide. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two. I'm just going to fold them. Hold on, before I do that. I My thought was I have a one inch square punch. Oh, I'm so sorry if I just jiggled you again. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Oh. oh, that's really small. I thought I had a bigger square. Where's my bigger square? This is a teeny tiny square. Ah, here. Got a bigger square. Bum, bum, bum. So this is a two and a half inch. So I need I need it to be one, two, three across. See, it's a good thing I I measured because You know what? I could probably do a big one and a little one if I fold this in half now. That'll probably work with the little square. Oh, yeah, that'll work very nicely. Now, which bit do I want? I guess I'm going to wind up punching them both out. But do I care which one is the front? And do I care if where this is on the thing? Do I want it centered? Do I want it off set? If I kind of center it, then I think I get rid of the least amount of... All right, centered. But I need it to have centered top to bottom as well. I want it, need it centered this way and this way. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Voila! Ooh, that's kind of fun. I can live with that. And then on this one, I'm going to do the big punch. <clears throat> that's the top. Yes, I know. I'm cutting out a ton. So I'm going to kind of have it centered left to right in the punch. Should be able to get rid of those. And there we go. <clears throat> two kind of different slidey things. I think I want to round the corners. Oops, that's not my corner rounder. Here's my corner rounder. I'm going to do half inch. Or am I going to do quarter inch? I'm going to do quarter inch. Quarter inch rounds on all corners. And I'm also going to do some hole punches in those corners. And then of course, I'm gonna put in some acetate and I'm gonna to have to figure out what I want to stick into that side. Okay, so now I also want 
some hole punches and I want the, the smaller ones. I actually have an even tinier hole punch, but if I do the tiny, tiny hole punch, I can't fit an eyelet. So I'm going to do some, just double checking I've got the right one. Holes in the corners. that and on this one as well hole, 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 hole. yep they're a little wonky so be it okay so now acetate what am I going to use for acetate I have choices I have um acetate packaging. There's some small ones those that will work. And the nice thing about the, the packaging is it's already double sided. So I can cut off that fold because that just makes it tough to work with. And then I can cut that to the right width. I think, actually, that might work. If I cut that like so, and then this will actually be just the right amount there. Okay, so now what am I gonna put in there? Um, I still may use this. Don't count those out yet. I have a bin. Let's see, those are my labels. I just got a new shipment of, uh, oh, that's not it, of um, cigar boxes. And I'm organizing some of my stuff by cigar boxes. So then I can put uh, a washi sticker inside. Look, it's like Tim Holtz people in Washi. I don't know where that came from. Um, do I want a flower? Or do I want a mushroom? Or do I want, I think I'm gonna use these little plants. So we've got a couple different kinds of, I'm going to do one with, I'll do one with ferns. How about that? I'll do one that's a fern. Hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, buried under stuff here. Okay. Is this the front? Yes, this is the front. So then this will go in here like this, and it is already like a, uh, a pocket. I think I'm going to trim off the, the bottom a little bit so it's easier for me to get to when I put the washi sticker in. Okay, so oh my gosh, these washi stickers are often very hard for me to, to get because I have old eyes. I have to wear these glasses. I take, I see, I take my glasses off and it, everything here is just a blur. So the glasses help, but still something like this. Oh my goodness. And then you have to feel the pressure of, oh my gosh, this is so boring. People are right now clicking away. Sorry. If you could just hold on for a minute while I get this to comply. This help. Oh my goodness. Ah. Did I get it? I think I got it. Once you once you separate them, they usually 
come apart quickly. It's just, oh my gosh, I can't get it apart. Oh. If you know of any tricks for this, leave it in the comments because I am at a loss for how to open up this sticker. That's just a stupid sticker. Oh my goodness. I'm about to give up. Ha, 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 Of course, I've mangled that corner, but by golly, I'm using it. Okay, I'm going to stick it kind of centered in there, and then that will get stuck down in there like so nope my husband's home hi Annie. hi Annie it's stuck gets stuck down like that and you know what? I'm going to um, use my tiny attacher and I'm going to attach it on all four sides like this oops maybe not that side <laughs> and then I'll reinforce it with some glue okay so that's one so now I have this one and we need to find something very very small and I think I, and I have a bunch of mushrooms I might have a very small mushroom let's see if there are any very small mushrooms cut one of these little tiny guys off and separate it. I can feel that this is going to be the same kind of material that the fern was. Yeah, that will fit. Um, and it was kind of hard to get that fern off, but we will see how it goes. And then I might also um, glue and sew. So where did my other one go? Let's see. Let's just, let's just do this and then I will pop the picture at the end because I think this is going to be kind of long. And it's very hard to upload the, the videos if they go on for too terribly long. That one was better. It's sticking to me. Okay, so now this is going to go. I kind of want it centered, top left to right, and then I can center it left, top to bottom in here. Oh, that's cute. And you attach it here. Oh, I can do all four sides on this one. Here. Here. And here. Oh, that's so fun. I'm happy with this. Let me give you, bring in a piece of paper. What did I do with the one I just made, you guys? Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay. Let me just clear a spot and bring this piece of paper back in. And there we have it. We have two slides. I think they need to be inked around the edges and I think they might need a label. And I think they also might need like a dark stamp to go over. I don't have any good mushroom stamps. You know what? I need some mushroom stamps. Oh, poo. I should have inked 
the inside of the edges of the slide. Oh well. Learn from my mistake. When you're when you're before you attach the um, the 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 acetate and your image, ink around the inside edge because I just totally forgot to do that. I think I can kind of kind of fudge it a little bit like that. Okay. Um, and I think I need, I think it needs a label. Let's see, I have a, a label box. Let me bring in my label box. I just partitioned this. Um, no, so a number. And don't try not to to um, cover up the the uh, the finger. Field label or sample or here's a date and a. Like that, okay. Or this is cute. I could do one of those. Do I have another one of those? These are all Tracy Fox. Um, might have to print more of those. You may have used them all up. Wait, wait, wait. This looks like the right shape. Nope, that's just the label. All right. Yeah, it looks like I have to print more of those taggy shaped ones. Oh, look, here's a teeny tiny number. That's fun. I'm going to add that to there. Okay. So we are going to... How long are we for time? Where's that? 48 minutes. All right. Tell you what, I'm going to stop this here and I will add just a photo at the end of the finished product. So... In any case, thank you all for stopping by. Thank you for watching. If you could please consider click like, click the sum, thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Have a good day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.